uh, first name Byron, last name Eddie. And I moved to Alberta 16 years ago. Moved to Calgary 16 years ago, actually. Uh, originally, I'm from a small place called Sunnyside, Newfoundland. It's a little speck on a road map that you'd uh, blink and pass. Grew up there and then went to uh, university in St. John's. And after finishing university, I moved here. I had a great childhood in the way that I was in a small town. It's, it's like anywhere, it has its plus and minus. The minus is everybody knows what you're doing. So before you got home, mom knew what you did wrong. Um, but the po positives are that you're given a lot of freedom. You're allowed to get out. You're allowed to jump on your bike and go. Parents didn't have to worry where you were. Uh, the East Coast does have a different pace to it. It has its own time. It moves nice and slow and calm and relaxing. And for me to go back, that's one of the things I love the most is this. You're out of the rat race and it's you're in your own little time zone. Music has such a, a magical power that, you know, it can it can take you to places, but places can also be take you back through music. One day I was uh, walking to work and I was just passing the C train line and when I did, it was a really, really foggy day. It was, it was probably about seven o'clock in the morning and uh, basically I'm passing by a dumpster and there's a, a bunch of seagulls and they're flying around, obviously looking for breakfast. And uh, the fogginess of the day that you couldn't see the buildings, you really couldn't tell I was in Calgary and you could hear the seagulls in the background. And it made me feel so much like a, a morning on the East Coast where you wake up and the seagulls are flying and it, it just takes you right across the country. There is a part of home, obviously, no matter where you're from, there's a part of home that you miss. There's parts that you don't, there's a part that you miss. I am proud of where I'm from and that's why I try to hang on to it as much as I can. I've got some of the longest relationships I've had since I moved to Alberta because of the band. The electric guitar player Glenn joined me 14 years ago and the accordion player and the drummer joined 13 and a half years ago. It's the music that keeps bringing us together and, and we're the kind of friends that, yeah, if we haven't played in two weeks, when we see each other, it just picks right up where it left off. If we were professional musicians in the way that we did this strictly as a living, yeah, you'd want to do it as much as possible, but we do it to the point that we still love to do it and it's not a job and we'll continue to do so until, I don't know, we can't play anymore because of arthritis in the fingers or backs and, and hips not being able to hold up on stage for four hours. We find that a lot of the East Coast and Celtic bands are almost like a little bit of a beacon for the people that are homesick. It gives you a place to go when you want to feel that connection to home. And by having that outlet, it sometimes can lessen the homesick, sometimes it can make it worse but sometimes it, it makes it better and it gives you that little fix, little piece of home to remind you where you're from and the things that you love about back east and allows you to just go back to your regular life and just settle back in and do the things you want to do. At the same time, there's some people that sends them over the edge and they get a ticket and they need to go back home. <laughs>